Yeah, I mean, the longer we play together, the more comfortable we get with each other. And um, it's, it's taking time. It's taking time, but uh, yeah, we're still progressing. Jalen, how much do you think about the last time you were in this building, scoring 50, and the way you started tonight? Does it creep into your mind at all? Uh, not really. Uh, I don't really try to figure it out. You get in the past, and it doesn't help you going forward. So, uh, yeah, I just I don't think about it. Do you have favorite arenas? To yes. shoot in? Yeah, one of them. To shoot in? Oh no, I have favorite arenas to go to. I don't know if I have favorite to shoot in. I have favorite to go to. Um, honestly, not my favorite. I don't know if I'm not the first guy or the side of the country. But it's a bit of a nice place. Jalen, back to back first quarters where you guys scored 40 plus points. How much does that set the tone offensively for you guys? I mean, yeah, it's just a tone of break. Um, especially when the ball's moving and um, we're getting easy baskets and we're running. You know, our social defense could be better on that side of the ball. And um, it's going to help our offense be a lot better as well. What does Josh mean to you guys? What does it mean to you guys? What does it mean to you guys? It means a lot. I mean, what he does is, obviously, yeah, he throws a stat sheet, but uh, with his energy, the way he uh, approaches the games and the games only, he's a uh, uh, super professional when it comes to playing the game of basketball. Thanks, Adam. Start off so hot. What do you feel like was key to that tonight? Um, I think just... Moving the ball, you know, getting the right shots, and then um, getting stops, you know, getting stops early. So it kind of gave us, you know, more confidence off the end, and we were just sharing the ball. Everybody was pretty much scoring, and um, had a good rhythm. How's this process been for you, adjusting and then figuring out where your spots are on the floor? And yeah. then it seemed like that played out more tonight. Yeah, it was it was tough in the beginning, um, just trying to figure it out, you know, um, especially getting cat, and it was kind of late going to training camp, but um, it's been good, just every day. Understanding offense, trying to figure out where I can be at and try to, you know, play off everybody. So it's, it's been good, though, as of late. Okay. Something people forget about the finals years. You guys started 8-8 eight eight that year. Yeah. Does that kind of experience help you in a situation like this where everything might not be clicking at the highest level right away? Yeah, and I think just being in a league and understanding, like, like, it's early, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want your main goal to, you know, be the last team standing, it don't it, it, it don't matter what's happening right in the beginning. You're learning, you know? So people overreact a little bit, but um, that's how it goes sometimes, you know? So um, just keep learning every day, try to get better every day, and try to take it one game at a time. How was it to see all your faces? Uh, that was great, man. Like, I, it's just the energy in here. Like, even when I landed, just driving to see and just the mountains and everything, just... <laughs> Uh, appreciate it, guys. Just, that's a mountain. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> it's called the desert more so, but, I mean, there's still mountains, technically. Yeah, you're fine. We're in the valley, so yeah. it's, it's yeah, mountains. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to make tripping. Right. You're um, not tripping. No, you're good. <laughs> I was just driving past and just seeing just, like, I think, like, AZ just – I didn't – I never really heard of it, of Phoenix, you know, until I got traded or drafted slash traded here and um, felt like it was, like, the most – Mikel place ever, you know what I'm saying? Just how open it is and having a big home. I'm a I'm a laid back guy, so I just stay inside all the time and that's what Phoenix is. Sounds like you guys are gonna go to Cam's tomorrow, just kind of get another day for you in the city. Yeah, come relax, come chill, you know, hang out. Um it's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm confident in my shot right now. Um and you know, I think when I do that, I can go constantly and see if I can it up. So, um, I don't know. I'll leave the, not the I'm not confident or I'm scared to shoot narrative for y'all. Y'all can roll with that if y'all want. But at the end of the day, for me, you know, um, I like to play my game how I want to play my game. I like taking my shots how I want to take them. Take the shots that I want. Um, I don't let anyone else take like that. I never wrote that. No, no, I wasn't saying. You know, yeah, saying, you know, saying in for general, anyone, right? Yeah, <laughs> for anyone that wants, that wants to comment on my my shooting or my game, I can just say, uh, only I can do the best I can, and only I can dictate what that's going to be. So I go out there and just with try to play with with joy and grace and just do whatever I do. Tim, you want to say that's something you've been working on? I, 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 I worked on it um, <laughs> religiously, um, and I continue to work on it. And you know, there's times where it's, you know, I think there was one who I was, I was wide open in the first um, 
through with the first quarter, the first half at the, the slot, and not that I didn't want to shoot, because you know sometimes I'm I'm so hell bent on getting other guys involved. You know, I was like on that, I wasn't even looking at the rim. I caught the ball and I was looking at Cat. You know, on the road, gonna have a small on him. So sometimes it's just like, bro, I, I, I get more joy getting other guys involved and getting them shots than I do scoring myself. So sometimes I gotta make sure I catch the ball and look at the rim. But like I said, I, I just have fun out there. I play my game. How much better can the team even get once Mikhail and Cat get even more comfortable with what you guys um, are doing? I think offensively we're all comfortable. I think it's, it's going to be defensively. Okay. I think we can make strides defensively. Um, so, um, you know, we'll see what that is. Hopefully we can get to that point. Um, but defensively when we start, um, you know, holding teams consistently it's under, you know, what, 45 46%, you know, causing them to turn the ball over, rebounding the ball and doing that, I think we're going to be a force. But, you know, like I said, that's going to take time. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so we're getting good shots. Getting some stops. <laughs> and when we get some of those stops, um, we're able to run and push and get um, kind of like some quick, easy ones. So, um, offensively, we're really getting into a good rhythm. And now we've got to make sure we continue to improve defensively. And, uh, if we make that, that jump, uh, you know, we'll be a force. But, you know, it's only game 14. So, you know, we're, we're, we're working. Can you describe that and the end of the ball spinning through guys? Yeah, uh, no, nah, I just. About the <laughs> yeah, I just. Um, I got the steal, and then it was just kind of chaos. I had it, and I lost it, and I had it again, and I lost it again, and then you know I just. I got the kind of when I, once I gathered off the fake spin, half spin, I got tip. It was just me and the basket. I was like, all right, cool. So I, I was just yelling at the ball, telling it to go in his hole. Um, but yeah. Looked like a football play. Yeah, it was. Hey, it wasn't pretty, but it worked. <laughs> you guys started so hot, but got some transition off the turnovers. How big was that? The fueling what you guys did. It was, it was huge. Obviously, when you, you want to start the game off strong, um, you know, more so defensively than offensively, and you know, we were able to get stops. Um, you know, get out. I think OG had a couple, couple lobs early. Um, couple, you know, the, the corner, a couple, uh, a couple of possessions got easy layups. So. Um, when you do that, uh, you know, it, it, it really opens everything up. Um, so, you know, something we got to continue to do is come out in that first quarter and be aggressive and, and dictate uh, the game defensively, and then our offense going to be there. With, with Cam and Mikel, did you get the sense throughout the day that this is somewhere they were comfortable, the vibe around them? Um, nah, I mean, it, it, it's tough because those guys are always, their confidence level is always so high. Like, it, it doesn't matter where they are. Obviously, they've been, you know, they were here for several years, but you wouldn't know um, just how they went through uh, the day. It was a, it was a regular um, game day for them, besides Cam pulling up to walk through with a black, you know, nice black, black Corvette, um, kind of like a Batmobile. So that was the only difference, but um, those guys' confidence is so high. You know, you, you would think every arena is at home. You got